And there we go, my right hand rod just smashed over and slackened off. <laughs> a nice pull down. So I'll get the ratchet off. As you can see, this one has got a set of bollocks. So that identifies as a male. Morning. How you doing everyone? Welcome back to the Bristol channel. Let's get my reels. As you can see, we have two fishing rods and a rod rest. Well done. Great observation. As you can see, I'm out on the mighty Bristol Channel. It's a Thursday morning. The day after Valentine's or time. I say Valentine's because I'm from Somerset and my wife's like, nah, it's not called that. It's Valentine's. I don't know. It's the 15th of Feb anyway. As you can tell, I'm an old romantic. No, we went to the cinema and watched a new Bob Marley film. It was epic. I don't really go to the cinema because I'm a feral rat. And that means I have to deal with humans. But I did actually enjoy it. Let's get my rigs out. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I know, Dan was just saying I should have sorted it out. I actually made these up last night. <laughs> and I've just walked out here and they're tangled. That's what I get for not using rig winders. I've decided to scrap them rigs. <laughs> I made them fresh last night. I thought, ah, that'd be right. I'll just chuck them in. Nah. Luckily, I had some in my box ready to go. I should know better. You know this. And as we've done before, first cast and last cast, I need to pop it out as I'm only fishing probably in about three or four foot of water. There you go, I'm stuck in. Should be okay now. Pop it out. There we go, like that. And we're fishing everyone. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. All right. What I'm going to do is cast this on that tide. Look at that other one. It's absolutely pumping through. We got tide. Just ran the tip. It's not good. There we are. I'm not sure if you know this, but if you use multipliers, that's why you see us do that before we cast. Just to make sure it's not around the tip. Right. This one, I'm just going to flick it out. Nothing fancy. Little lob, just up tide. And I let a bit of line out. Hoping maybe for a bass in close. Definitely have to pop this one out. There you go. And there we are. We're fishing everyone. Two rods in the water, two hours from high water, and we've definitely got a chance. I'm gonna set up another rig. I'm gonna bait it up. When I bring you back, hopefully, I can get you in on the action and maybe 
catch a few fish. As you know, it's Feb. It's the 15th of Feb, and it can be quite difficult, hit and miss. Look at that. Squid and blacks. Spare rig. Ready to go out. Beautiful, eh? On my bait needle. Right, let's get this on the rod rest. Look at that, pretty good, if I may say so myself. Self praise is no praise. That's quite decent to be honest. As I mentioned before, bait presentation is key, not only for the fish, but for casting. If I tried to cast out a lump of squid with blacks hanging off of it, it would just spin up in the air and probably not release on my impact shield or my splashdown or my imp. See that tie's ripping. You got fish on you? Yeah. And there we go everyone. The first fish. Do you know what I do with that? Keep it, put it out as bait. I'll have it if you don't want it. I'll throw it back for you, Dan. Oh yeah. Why don't you keep it and put it out? Yeah, good boy. As I mentioned to people at home, when the fishing's hard, sometimes you've got to match a hatch. We can come out here with squid and black lug, which are not natural to this area. And sometimes that's just no point. If you're fishing with white in and there's white in here, something is definitely got to be feeding on it. So if I was Dan, I'd keep that fish, chop it up and put it back out on a hard session here in Somerset. And there we go. There's Dan's white in. Not the biggest, but like everything in the Bristol Channel, chunky. If you get a white in that big on Chesil, definitely some parts of Kent, Dover, etc. We call them pin whiting. They're just a body with no meat. But that one is quite chunky. Bait. So what I'm gonna do is switch the one up that's in close and put it out in that side. Just feeling. Distance is key today to try and get a fish out in that tide. Well, as you can see, those baits are perfect. The first one, it's been out there about 40 minutes now. 
make that tide run. That's what I'm going to do. Change it up. I'm only here for three, three and a half hours. So you've got to fish hard. Fish hard. So Dan's just had another bite, he's just said. Let's get this one out of Just like that. Where we are. Little bit of line up. As you can see, we got water. It just passed high water and the tide has started to ebb out now and it started to pull from right to left. As you know, because I tell you all the time, the tide doesn't really stop. When you're on chisel, you probably get 20 minutes, half an hour. But as this is an estuary, it comes in pretty much does this beep, 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 beep. straight out my right hand rod got a little bit of weed I can see it in the water that's why it's pulled down there's a bit of weed out there according to my watch or my phone we're eight minutes before high once we get the high when it starts to pull properly I'm going to walk up to the right put some fresh baits out in that tide and fish hard we've probably got the best time now for me about an hour and 40 all the way back at the ebb it's the best time for me to catch a fish at this location I'm going to keep trying I've got a bait ready I'll keep fishing if we get any action I'll bring you straight back good morning everyone and welcome back the sun is shining. All we need now is just a few bites. Or maybe one. Yeah. yeah, just one. One bite. I'm not fussy. I can't shake this weed off. That's what I'm going to do. Go a little bit early and change the baits. Typical, it's come off now. Yeah, again, the bait's untouched. Looks brilliant, actually. Look at that. Five black lug and a whole squid, just like it went out. That's all right. Can be a tricky time of year, but we're all right. 
the fishing's great, the catching is pretty shit. But we're right. Let's get this one out there. Yeah, buddy. Let's get it out there. Nothing too fancy. depth now. Let a bit of line out. Look at that. I just brought that in. After half an hour in that tide is absolutely perfect. This time of year it can be a little bit like repetition fishing. I don't really need to change my bait, I don't think. But you just do it every 20 minutes. Just keep trying. Not only that, obviously the fish aren't actively hunting, but they don't seem to be. So if you keep casting, maybe you might be lucky and put it next to a fish. You know what I'm saying. Keep mixing it up. Just giving yourself the best chance while out here. In the short window we have, we only have sort of three, three and a half hours of fishing. I've got a packet of squid and two wraps of black. That's all I need. I'm not really going to take them home because they've defrosted. So you might as well use them. Right. Let's keep fishing, eh? I'm not going to belt this, just flick it out. Oh. Splash tank, come and clip then. And there we go, my right hand rod just smashed over and slackened off. Huh. A nice pull down. So I'll get the ratchet off. I just sorted the other one out and the ratchet just ripped off on this one and slacking me right off. And there we go. Yeah. And probably a ray, I'd say. Maybe a ray. You like to help? Yeah, if you come down, this fish is in the tide. It's probably a ray, but you never know. Yeah. Come on. Well, it's been a hard session. That's right, I'll bring the fish to you. Yeah, don't go in. This one's staying deep, which I don't want it to do. Need to get it up, really. Need to bully this fish. Rely on my kit. And back myself, because for some reason it's coming along the bottom. I'm sure it's a 40 anyway. Yeah, I am. Come on. You little knobhead. Come up. Come on. Up, up, up. Yeah. Okay, take me in these rocks. That's the rocks. There we are. I got her. She's on top. Don't worry about gaffing it, mate. Just grab the, grab the fish that's there. And there you go, everyone. There is a beautiful form bat ray here on the mighty Bristol Channel. We're on the fish. Let's get this one back, everyone. Come on, beautiful. Let's go. Thank you. On a hard day in Feb, you can't beat it. I'll see you again. What I'm going to do now is just drop this one out there again in that tide rip. Sometimes there's more than one. Check it out. 
get it in that tide. Before any of you comment, these are my old reels. If you've not seen my previous videos, they're shagged. But I like to use them out here. You don't really need to cast very far and they work. My plan is in the next few weeks to buy myself some new reels, maybe some casting specials. I'm not sure yet. So I know they're a bit ropey. Right, we've got a, a situation. I'm not sure what's going on. I might have a fish just wipe Dan out, or Dan might have a fish, or we both just might have each other. Yeah, we might just have each other. But I've just put that fish back. I know, this might be a fish, yeah. This is right down to hide. Wow, man. This has got to be a fish. This has got to be a fish. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you get my camera. No, wind it in, wind it in, don't worry. Yeah, 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 don't worry about me. I'll drag camera over there. Yeah, if you would. Sorry. Yeah, it's a fish. Careful. It's a better one, this one. Well, it feels it, but the tide is absolutely ripping. You won't need to gaff it, mate. Just make sure you've got a good foothold and you're comfortable, yeah? Don't go going in for me. Right. There you go, it's just gonna take me in the rocks. I'm just trying to, I'm bouncing up over the rocks. There it is. I'll try and help you out, but that tide's ripping, okay? There you go. I'll bring it straight to you, how about that? Better one? Same. Little one. All right, you right to bring it back? And there we are. Two fish in two minutes here on the mighty Bristol Channel. That's my black lug hanging out of its mouth. What I'm gonna do is sort this fish out. It's on the circle hook again. Put him in the pool. Sort my life out. That's quite tiring. Two fish in two minutes. But we're on the fish and we're having a good time. As you can see, this one has got a set of bollocks. So that identifies as a male in the form back world. I've not really caught a male for a while. So there you go. It's probably seven, eight pound. I don't know, but he's a, a well endowed. Lucky you. Anyway, let's get this little chap back to go and have some fun with those females I've been catching recently. Cheers everyone. Thanks, Mr. Ray. Voila. Let's go. Hey, we're on the fish. The catching is going well. As you can see across over in Wales, it's raining. The wind's getting up now. It's not very nice. We've probably got about 40 minutes, half an hour left. And I think I'll be grateful to get out of here because in a couple of hours time it is going to be honking. There. Just a little flick just on the bottom of the rocks hoping for a bass. Well, I'm just starting to pack up and my left arm rods just come hammering back. I'm schooling down a bit, sorry mate. People know because they watch my videos, this is what I'm like in Norway sometimes, right? I'm just there to take photos and land people's fish. Yeah, I've got a slack line. Ah! I was just drawing out my coat and I just threw it in my squid guts. Ah! Right. The water's starting to drop out now, so I haven't got the depth. 
got to make sure. It might not be there. It just hammered back. Oh, I slap like me. Yeah. Oh. There's a fish. Oh, like that. I'm probably over both, yeah, because it's just taking me right down tight. Uh, just see how it goes. I should be right. It should be up in the water now. Another ray, yeah. Yeah, another 40. Watch that green stuff down there. This feels a better one. Still out there in the depths. Oh, feels a bit weird, so I might have my other line. Might just be... Yeah, yeah I'd safely say. I've got my other line, I think, as well, unless I've got a fish on there. This could be a bunch of knobs, but... <laughs> no, I've not got yours. You're all right. <laughs> yeah, and the one you cracked up. Yeah. I've got a bit of leader, I think. This might get stuck at the edge of that rough brine. But I'll get it. This one's not playing ball. I'll try and get it. Yeah, I can't get it to you at the moment. I'll get it up on the top and I'll surf it in. That's the aim. Oh, you can feel that. That's right on the edge. Oh, that rough stuff. You can feel the fish. Grating up the side. Oh, that bank. Oh, that feels terrible. Yeah, it's just stuck me in at the moment. What I'll have to do wait for the water to drop back a bit I think come on keep it coming I've got it moving this is a big fish yes I may have my other line now Just being a bitch come on I'm swimming now bit of effort that's why you strong kit everyone I've got leader I can see the fish Just on the edge, there it is. It's just that. I know. Is it Ray? Don't know what it is. Oh, big Ray, yeah. And there we are. Have you? I can't move it any more, Dan. Sorry. Oh, oh, that was an effort. Now then, now that is a big girl. What a beauty, she is super fat. And there you go everyone, look at that beautiful form back ray, just under 12 pound here on the mighty Bristol Channel. Cheers beautiful. We've had a great session. This is ray number three. I've had two girls and a little chap. This one supersedes all of them and she is a specimen fish on a lovely morning in the sunshine. What I'm gonna do now, Let's get her straight back, just have a photo or two and get her away. Wow, I'm hanging out my ass. I just had three rays in 10 minutes and I wound in one of Dan's, which is down there, a crack off, and that's got a ray on it as well, so we're gonna go down. So I wound in four rays in quarter of an hour and one of them was just under 12 pounds, which is a specimen fish for my club. First one of 2024 but look i'm gonna make my way off of here thanks again for joining me it's a privilege the fishing is always great the catching has been great as well but as you've seen i didn't have any fish on the flood tide all the way up nothing over the top of the tide and rightly so if you remember i said the fishing is better here on the ebb and i've been proven right it doesn't happen all the time, you know. But uh, I've had a great morning. Unfortunately, Dan's just dropped a fish. We've got one down there, which we've got to go and sort out, but we've had a great time. So thanks again for joining me here on the mighty Bristol Channel. I've had one specimen ray and two normal size lovely ray, and I've had a great morning. I feel great, and I look forward to seeing you somewhere else very soon. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you somewhere else.